So let's continue working with this project. Uh, right here we have these print events. So we're gonna use again this UI instance and we're gonna call this method display events. And we're gonna pass uh, the wall object events events. So this is going to be passed into the display events. So we're gonna append UI. And since this is going to be one of the main methods, we're gonna add this on the top display events from the API. So we're gonna call this one display. Is display events? Yeah, display events. And this is going to take the events object. So it's going to be like this console.log events. And just to make sure that uh, this is passing to this method. And we're gonna add again, I'm gonna add my city search. And you can see that we have events right here. So I think we can add an extra events, uh, an, extra, an extra event. We can pass this event list. I think this is going to be better. If we pass the complete object, and let's add again, I'm going to add uh, Jalisco search. And yeah, definitely it's going to be better because uh, this way we don't have to access another property into the object. So then we're gonna uh, build the template. And we're gonna start with a let HTML template is going to be an empty string. So then we're gonna loop through these events. So we're gonna add loop events and print the result. So we're gonna use events dot for each. And I'm gonna call this one event info. If you have event like this, event uh, is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. So we're gonna have event info like this, and we're gonna use the arrow functions. And this is going to be a really a big, and right here I'm missing a parenthesis. This is going to be a really big template. So you can refer to the code snippets in case that you face any problem. Uh, this is going to be the, the template that we are going to write. Uh, some people prefer to copy this and paste and continue. Uh, some other people prefer to uh, watch me typing this and explaining the properties. So uh, feel free to copy this and continue if you want. So here we have on the index, we already have this row. So we're gonna use the bootstrap uh, grid. So we're going to display this uh, one next to the other. You can see this one is called result. So here on, on in the constructor, then we have this init. We're going to add select the results. So it's going to be like this, this, this that result a new property is going to be added to the object and we're gonna document get element by id and we're gonna pass the result so now we can access this in result in this display events so we're gonna uh, refer this as this dot in this result equals to the html template in a inner html like this equals to the HTML template. So we're gonna start uh, building this template. So we're gonna add HTML template and we're gonna concatenate, we're gonna use a string or template literals. And from here, I'm going to add a div with the class. We're gonna start call MD4. We're gonna use the bootstrap uh, grid. So we're gonna close the div. Then we're gonna use the cards. So we're gonna use div class card. So each of the events is going to be in a card. So then we're gonna use div class and card body. And we're gonna close the card body. This card body is going to hold the, the contents. So we're gonna add IMG. And we're gonna insert the, the image for the event. So if you open, click, you click here, and you will find that the image is uh, right here called uh, logo. So we have logo and then we have a URL in order to access the image for this event. So we're gonna add IMG class, IMG fluid, and we're gonna add also MB2 margin bottom two. The SRC, we're going to add the dollar sign and we're gonna access this event info. 
So in, there are some events that have an image, some others doesn't have an image. So we're going to use the ternary operator right here. So we're going to use uh, event info dot logo. In case that this is not equals to null, we're going to add event event info that logo that URL. Uh, otherwise, it's going to print an empty string. So uh, basically, because there are some events that doesn't have this image. So we're checking that if the event doesn't have the image, it's going to print this empty. So then we're going to create another card body. So we're going to add div with the class card body. And here on the bottom, we're going to add uh, div class card text and close the div. So right here, we're going to add the event name. If you open the response, uh, these are called as a name. So you can see we have name and we have an HTML and text. We're going to use this text because we're going to add the HTML. So we're going to teach two with the class text center and card title. So we're going to add the dollar sign and we're going to add event info again and a dot and we're going to access this using name and then text so dot name dot text and close the h2 i'm gonna collapse this so you can see better the code then we're gonna add a p or a paragraph with the class we're gonna add a class called lead and we're gonna add text info the text info is going to be a class that that i added so we're gonna add event information and then we're going to add a paragraph right here. So the description of the event is going to be here on the description. You can see that we have HTML. It, it, this will print these paragraphs. Or we also have this text. Uh, chances are, for example, this one, you can see that this is a really long description. So we're going to add the following. We're going to add the dollar sign. And we're going to copy this main object, event info dot description dot text and we're gonna use a method called substring and we're gonna trim this when we reach 200 letters then we're gonna add three dots like this we're gonna add another one so we're gonna add, for example an span class it's going to be batch and batch primary so we're gonna add capacity and here on the event info, you can see that we have also the capacity, it says 200 persons. So we're going to use dollar sign again, event info, and a dot capacity. And close the span. So let's add another one, span class, batch, and batch, batch, secondary. And this is going to be date and time like this so we're gonna add event info and there are uh, several methods that you can use if you scroll and you can see we have this start and we have local we have time zone and utc and i think here on the top we have another one we have height and date and this is more a property so we're gonna use this start and then local so I scroll to the top. We have event info. We're going to add dot start dot local and close the span. So finally, we're going to add a button a href uh, where the persons can uh, buy uh, some tickets. So for example, here on the URL, uh, this is going to take you to the URL of this event. In case that you want to allow the persons to buy the tickets in the website if you take a look here on the on the rest api you can see that we have some tickets also but in case that you want to sell uh, tickets in your website you have to contact the eventbrite uh, team and they are going to give you more advanced uh, information so we're going to add a target is going to be blank because when the user clicks on this it's going to open this in a in a new window 
Then we're gonna give some classes, BTM, BTM primary, BTM block, MT4. All of these are bootstrap classes. So we're gonna call this one get uh, tickets like this and close the anchor. So this is going to be the template and let's open the project. And right here I'm going to add, for example, I'm gonna add again my, my state, Jalisco, click here on search and close this. And you can see that we have some events right here. Uh, they are printing the image. You can see they are printing the images. Uh, we have the title, we have the event information, and that is right here. And you can see that we uh, trim this description in some of these. And we have the capacity, we have the date and time. And you can click here. And this is going to open the Eventbrite website where the visitors can buy uh, some tickets. So we can close this and we can make another search. So for example, uh, business and professional, let's say we make a search for an event in Bitcoin search. And you can see that we have the results, a Bitcoin training center, and we have uh, some other examples. And you can filter by the other, the other categories also. And also if you uh, remove this and you make a search, you can see we have this uh, message. And also if you type something like this and it didn't find any results, we have no results found. So in my opinion, this was a really complete project and something that we make from scratch using the Eventbrite API.